Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jeanne. If you watched on Tuesday, you know Star Valley's Peter Visser just won the Wyoming Gatorade Boys Runner of the Year Award. Well, now I've got more great news from another running star from Star Valley. Senior Asefa Wetzel just signed to run cross country and distance at the University of Wyoming. Asefa has currently got the eighth best time in the country for the indoor 1600 meters. That's just over four minutes, 18 seconds. Now, an injury forced him to miss the 2018 outdoor season. But in 2017, he won the 3A state title in both the 1600 and 3200 meters. Asefa also won the 3A cross country state title his junior season. Then his teammate Peter Visser, who I just mentioned, won it this past year. Great news for New Polk, Asefa Wetzel. And you all probably know by now about the Denver Broncos' latest move. They've agreed to a trade with the Baltimore Ravens for quarterback Joe Flacco in exchange for a mid-round pick in this year's NFL draft. Now, the trade is just an agreement. It can be official March 13th, which is the start of the next NFL season. And the Broncos are now trying to shop current QB Case Keenum. He's scheduled to make $7 million bucks next year. That's the last year of his contract. We all know we haven't had a franchise quarterback since Peyton Manning retired after our Super Bowl win four years ago. Well, three years before that, Joe Flacco was the Super Bowl MVP in the Ravens Super Bowl 47 championship. Here's Broncos analyst Matt Boyer on the move. This is a guy who can, if the Broncos do decide to draft a quarterback, bring in a young quarterback to learn from Flacco, really teach him the ropes, because this is a guy who's been consistent at a high level for a long time in the NFL. And just a quick fun fact, for Joe Flacco's first two years on the Ravens, Vic Fangio was the linebackers coach for the Ravens. Now the two unite again with Fangio as the head coach of the Broncos. Except now Fangio's in his first year on the job instead of Flacco. Pretty cool coincidence right there, and hopefully playoffs next season, fingers crossed. But now to bad football news from down in Laramie. New developments in the sexual assault and sexual battery case of former Polk All-Conference defensive end Carl Granderson. Court documents now show the charges involved two alleged victims. According to the affidavit, Granderson made unwanted sexual contact with two female students who went to the University of Wyoming. That was while the three of them were sleeping at an off-campus apartment in late November. Now, in most cases, a third-degree sexual assault conviction carries a maximum sentence of 15 years in prison. That case hasn't proceeded far enough for Granderson to enter a plea, and he's still scheduled to participate in the NFL Scouting Combine later this month. And now to good pokes news for former basketball star Josh Adams. He just earned a spot on the USA World Cup qualifying team. Josh is one of 13 players from the NBA G League picked for the team, coached by NBA legend Jeff Van Gundy. Right now for the Raptors 905, he's averaging 17 points, 5 boards, and 5 assists in 9 games played. Remember in the 2015-2016 season, Josh led the Mountain West and was third in the country, averaging almost 25 points per game. He also scored 740 points his senior year, which is a single season poke record. Great news there for one of our guys. And now to pro hoops. Point guard Isaiah Thomas making his debut for the Nugs last night against the Sacramento Kings. The former MVP candidate got a standing O and the Denver crowd loved him after not playing for 11 months. LeBron supported him with a tweet and Isaiah Thomas supported the Nugs with a three. He finished with eight points. Very happy to see him healthy. And Nikola Jokic made history last night. He recorded his 28th career triple-double, and that ties Michael Jordan for 14th most in NBA history. The Joker went for 20 points, 18 boards, and 11 assists last night. But it was close late. Buddy Heald ties it up with 15 seconds left. Nugs call a timeout, and you see the Joker with that stat there, so you know what's coming next. He's going to do something. Pick and roll with Monte Morris. Jokic misses. But then he tips it in with 0.3 seconds left. The Serbian fans love that. Nuggets win by two points. Nikola Jokic, the hero, as usual. The Nuggets still second in the West at 39-18. And they're off until next Friday because of the All-Star break. Guys, state swimming and diving in Gillette. No results yet. But the Lander Valley boys going for their 23rd straight state title in 3A. That's how old I am. <laughs> All right. I'm like sorry, that. but that is interesting. That's incredible. When that, you really no, that really is. That is. All right. Well, thank you, Carmine. With yeah. that, we're going to go to break. <laughs> Holy moly.